Hi, hello and good morning everyone. Today is my results day for my second year at Cambridge. I will be getting the results back for the exams that I took this year and also for my dissertation that I did this year. So yeah, I thought I would do one of these like reacting to my results videos. I didn't do one for my grades last year uh, I think largely because I was really struggling with the concept of attaching self-worth to grades and I think that is a very common thing with people um, at university and specifically at Oxbridge. It's really hard to detach um, how you feel about yourself. I mean this is something I really struggle with, um, detaching like my self-worth from like the grades that I get. I've been trying to work a lot better in my mind about not feeling like I've somehow failed because I'm not perfect and trying to find joy and happiness and pride in the grades that I do achieve no matter what they are because I know that I have put in 110% of the effort that I have and really that's all that matters is if you've tried your best then you can't expect any more from yourself and you should be proud of what you've achieved um that's a narrative I'm trying to like learn and work with but I would like you all to take to bear in mind that I'm still working on not attaching my self-worth to my grades and that this video is not designed to perpetuate that um yeah, it's just supposed to be a little bit of fun, I think, and um, to share with you guys how my time at university is going. We have our results sent out via um, Kamsis. Another thing that I really feel like I need to bear in mind when looking at these results is that I have been like very unwell this year without going into too much detail. I've had to like take time out and I was also in hospital very close to when I had to take my exams and was very unwell while taking them as well. So I think I need to also show myself some kindness in that regard. So the first thing that I see when opening Kansas is my overall mark um and <laughs> okay I'm so happy I got um a class one which is a first um and for those of you that don't know the way that university grading works is a first and then a two one and then a two two and then a third and then a fail but I got a first <laughs> I'm so happy. Never in like a million years did I think that was going to happen this year. I have been trying to like mentally prepare myself for the fact that this is probably not a possibility this year because of how ill I've been and I'm, I'm genuinely, I don't know if it's coming across, but I'm genuinely so shocked but also like really happy that I've achieved that while being so ill this year is is actually crazy to me. I have no idea how I've done it, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> and so then the next thing that I see is my marks for each of my exams. So I took the Early Medieval Literature and its Context exams, the Medieval Literature and its Context exams, and the Renaissance Literature and its Context exam. And so I'll work through them each. The Early Medieval one was the most important to me because I had to ask to take the paper, do like a little application thing, and not many people will take that paper. Most people take the long 18th paper. It's something I'm really passionate about and it's a term that I really, really enjoyed. So yeah, I'm gonna start with that one. And yeah, it's the most important to me. And what? Okay, so I got 75 and a half. Okay, first of all, Anna, let yourself be happy about the fact that you got 75 because that is like, that is like a solid first. Like a first is 70 out of 100 and I got 75 and a half. So I'm like so happy with that because like I said, this paper was so important to me. Um, but I'm just confused how I've got half a mark. I didn't even think that was something that could happen. Like, I didn't even think that was a thing. But there we are. And then I have my medieval exam. And that's just like the normal medieval exam that everyone takes. Also, obviously, important to me. I would like to have done well in it. Because next year, I want to do the uh, supernatural medieval paper uh, for my third year. And so, what did I get? I got... Okay, okay, so I got 68 out of 100, and that's like, okay, so that's a very high 2 one that's just below becoming a first, and I'm gonna, okay, I, <laughs> my brain automatically goes like, oh, that's so annoying, I didn't get a first, but like, I'm really actively trying to 
reroute that and be like, no, you got a two on, Anna. You did well. You got a really actually high two on and you should be proud of that. Okay, so that's something that I'm gonna have to consciously work on, but like it's weird because I'm like torn between, yes, I'm really happy with that. And also like there's that annoying little nag in the back of my brain that's like, oh, but like you're so close to a first, but you didn't get it. And it's just like, shut up, <laughs> just go away. <laughs> Let me be happy. Then I have my Renaissance exam. And this is the one I thought I was gonna do the least well in. I also like didn't feel that when I was sitting the exam, I did the best that I could do just because the questions I found really weird. Also like I studied the Renaissance paper last year, not this year. So it was the furthest away that I'd studied. It was further back in my brain. But yeah, so for the Renaissance exam, I got 65 out of 100. Okay, so I got a two one on that as well. That's like a solid middle two one, okay. All right, <laughs> all right, I'm very happy with that. I'm honestly, like, I'm so happy with all of those. I so much better than I thought I was gonna do considering how ill I was while taking the exams and also like preparing for them. And then I have my dissertation. And this dissertation is a little bit of a full circle moment for me because I did it on Afroben. Um, and part of my interview to come to Cambridge, uh, I got asked about Afra Ben because I'd sent in an essay um, on her as my like, you have to send in an essay as part of your application. So yeah, it felt very full circle to write about her again. And I actually, I really enjoyed talking to my supervisors about it uh, because they seemed quite excited about the topic, but I did kind of struggle with figuring out how to approach a dissertation, but I think I have a better idea of how to work on them next year now, which is good. Okay, all right, so I got 71 out of 100. So that's a first, you're right? That's a first. Yes, so a first, oh my gosh, the marker for a first is 70. So just got into it, okay. <sighs> Honestly, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I don't know if you can tell how shocked I am, but genuinely I'm like, what? <laughs> and it's actually kind of wild for me to be happy about grades because like I said, like I find it really, really difficult. Um, so yeah, I just, it's so nice to feel proud. And I, I would like to think that no matter what I got, I would be feeling good about it because I have been working so hard on feeling better about my grades, no matter what they are um, this year. Like it's been something I've really, really worked on. And the last thing is our rank. So I think this is just such a bizarre Cambridge tradition and I really, really hate it uh, because it just, it adds to this idea of everyone else being competition in Cambridge. And it just, it makes me angry. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I prefer the way they do it now you know silver linings and stuff because they used to print them off and put them out on the senate house so you'd have to like walk down there and go and see it but you could see your rank and you could see everyone else's as well which is absolutely a terrifying prospect and genuinely quite horrendous so the ranking now is done on campuses and all you see is your rank and no one else's so it's a little bit better but still like not a positive exercise at all um so i'm going to try very hard to not let this get me down so the rank overall will be out of 230 which is the amount of people in my year doing english so my rank is 44th okay i'll take that you know that's that's decent i'm happy with that still like i find the ranking ridiculous so i'm not gonna think about it too much so that's it that is my grades for second year i can't believe second year is over already like the fact that i'm already two thirds through is absolutely wild and crazy to me i hope you have enjoyed watching this little video and please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more university content from me 
I just wanted to add a quick congratulations to anyone who has recently got their grades back or who are waiting on their grades. I hope you can be proud of yourselves and happy with what you have achieved and join me in reminding yourselves that as long as you've worked as hard as you can, you should be proud no matter what it says on that paper because what it says on that paper does not define you. So that's everything for this video. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you all have a lovely summer.